Let's look at two biblical proofs of being led by the Spirit of God. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 9. I said I will mention his name no more, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shot up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. There is supernatural zeal that accompanies the leading of the Holy Spirit. When God leads, there's a divine drive that comes on your life. When God leads, he accompanies the lead with supernatural drive in the direction that he's leading. Paul said, immediately I arose and conferred not with flesh and blood. Galatians 1 and verse 15 to 17. When it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Immediately. I mean, he needed to have at least thought over it. I have been all out killing these people. Can I survive? He made the, there's an inner drive that accompanies the leading of the Holy Spirit. The kind of energy that God gave me in the pursuit of this project, I mean, man, <laughs> it can only be from God. It could only be from God. I never one day saw impossibility in the completion. I never one day saw it. I never saw it. I never saw financial hindrance. I never saw technical problems. I saw the building roofed. I saw it dedicated. And it came to me. There is an unusual zeal that accompanies me. So one day I stood on my two legs for 22 hours. It was the first day I knew that is the leg that carries the body. I just saw they are all working on their own. But my body sat on my leg. Glory to God. When God leads, if you find me spitting fire, I'm led. You, your look can't stop it. Your opinion is irrelevant. They don't discuss prophecies, they declare it. My wife is here now. Ask her whether I ever discussed any word concerning any service with her in my life. We are 38 years in marriage. <laughs> Unusual energy from heaven always accompanies you being led. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We came here the first Sunday, we were all in one wing, and I said, we'll soon start two services. Did it happen or not? No, that can we do one service at the other side? No, we won't do that. The shut down, the place is shut down, shut down by divine order. That's the zeal that accompanies you when you are being led. The Lord said to Abraham, depart. And an old man just departed. There is no ceremony. There is no protocol. He said to Moses, get back. And Moses took his wife and his two sons. You are going on a suicide mission. Unusual zeal. Can't they follow you later? Can't you go ahead of them and test the ground? But when God leads, unusual zeal accompanies you. If you can't see it, you better check it. If you are up today and down tomorrow in the direction God is leading you, you better check it. You better check it. You better check it. When God leads, he accompanies the lead with unusual zeal. Supernatural drive is tireless in his pursuit. Secondly, when God leads, he protects the lead. He protects the lead. Behold, I send an angel to go before you to keep you in the way and bring you to the place which I have prepared. Amen. 
Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death in the direction of his leading, you fear no evil. <laughs> because his rod and his staff, they comfort you. Because he's with you. And if God be for you, can be against you. Somebody's blessed. In Joel chapter 2, verse 7 and 8, we saw this very clean picture. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone in his way. And they shall not break their arms. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. So as long as they are being led, God is committed to protect them. Can I hear your amen? <laughs> Can I tell you this? Otter used to be the home of armed bandits. When we started construction here, you find people in the daylight, no mask. They bring their chest out, bring their guns. Stop! Broad daylight. Since we came to Canaan 1999, no armed robber has ever stepped into Canaan. How dare you? How will you get there? Haba. The only construction we had, about 2,000 people working here, sir. they were collecting cash as daily pay people. Not one person say, bring your money. How dare you? When God leads, he protects the land. When God leads, he protects. Please don't go outside of his leading. It's a risk. You know, I've been announcing that no robber ever entered it. Have you ever seen them attempted it? No. No. <laughs> Can you see a dog trying to harass a lion? No. No. They say, why? Well, it says a rabid dog. No. When a rabid dog sees a lion, the rabid is clear. <laughs> Amen. Now, have you ever seen a lion despise fire? I say, what do you mean? No, go there. You know what I mean. Go inside the fire. You will fry. I'm used for pepper soup. Straight. There is no lion that doesn't know fire. Well, you know, they say this is my territory. When you set fire there, <laughs> territory in the face of fire. Don't try it. You know, the lion urinates around his territory to secure it. But when he sees fire, <laughs> the urine dries. <laughs> Straight. That's how witches and wizards will be helpless when God leads you. Thank you, Jesus. When God leads, one of the proofs is divine protection. Divine 